What's up, sisters and brothers? Hope you've had a great week. Happy Friday. On this day in 1974, the House began impeachment proceedings against President Nixon. So the more things change. Uh, it's been a great week of the Money Savage podcast. We moved from having three shows a week to now four. So that's an exciting change. We had on Lauren Williams, who is a two-time Olympic gold, Olympic gold medalist. So that was pretty awesome to be able to talk to her. But she deals with helping professional athletes with their personal finances. So very interesting and important conversation. Barry Flagg came on to talk about how now it's possible to do an analysis of a life insurance policy to really dissect and understand all the costs that are associated with it, which was difficult to do in the past. We had Peter Huminski on to talk about business succession planning. So few of family businesses survive or pass from one generation to the next. We talked about the reasons for that and how to change that if you are part of a family business. So check that out. And finally, Jim Katzman talked about how a lot of the time at the end of the month, we look up and we think, where in the world did all my money go? Uh, and how to avoid that phenomenon and those negative feelings that you certainly get uh, when that happens because you should have negative feelings when that happens. I know that I had negative feelings when I was in that situation. So um, also this week, I read about how uh, the millennial generation, much talked about, a third of them uh, have accessed their retirement accounts to buy homes. And that is not, not, not a good idea for a variety of reasons. There's an opportunity cost that when you take money out of a retirement plan, it's not growing for you anymore. Sometimes there's penalties, sometimes there's not. But when you put money into a retirement plan, if it's an IRA or a 401k, the idea is that this money is gone. This is my long-term area for saving. I'm not supposed to take this money out until at least 59 and a half. Um, that's the age at which you avoid the 10% penalty for early withdrawal. And those are for traditional retirement plans. I get it. Roth IRAs are different. But anyway, even a Roth IRA, put the money in the account and don't touch it. Think about it like a pension, like you can have access to it. We don't have time to be taking money out of a retirement plan because the cost of that is, is enormous. And I also read about how the personal loan business has literally exploded. Uh, it's doubled since 10 years ago, and that's due to fin financial technology or fintech bringing all these all these awesome personal loan technologies to the table. Um, so it went from like 60 or 70 billion to 140 or 150 billion dollars over the past 10 years, and I imagine just pretty recently is where a lot of those big spikes have happening, and people are taking that money and using it for um, refinancing or consolidating credit card debt. So those two things, taking money out of a retirement plan to buy a house and then taking on personal loans to pay off credit card debt, those are not good indicators for our economy. Uh, and fundamentally, let's just do some math. If the thing that you want to buy is more expensive than the money that you have, you shouldn't buy it. All right, math. Thing I want, too expensive because I don't have the money to afford it, equals I don't buy it. None of us have time. Time goes by so quickly, which we all know, we don't have time to be making these kinds of mistakes. And again, I've certainly been guilty of this in, in the past, in, in, in my 20s, I was very guilty of these things. Um, so you can do this. We need you to do this. Um, so make it happen. Have an awesome week, weekend. Talk next week.